Good morning, it's Ada Sparks here with A Word of Hope. This morning I have company coming over. Um, I know I have company coming over, so I've been tidying up my house and getting it presentable, you know, and getting ready for work and so trying to make myself presentable and fixing my hair and even put a little ascot on Elliot. Look at him. <laughs> Doesn't he look so excited about it? Elliot, quit looking like that. You look like an idiot. By the way, Elliot has a new Instagram page called Elliot the Idiot Dog. So you can be sure to go like his Instagram page. We're having quite a lot of fun with that. Besides the point, making everyone presentable. And I think about this morning how we put so much effort and so much time into making our house presentable, making our classroom presentable, making ourselves presentable. And then I stopped and thought, how much time do we spend in making ourselves presentable for God, right? There's a scripture about that. It's Romans 12 and one. It says, I beseech you, this is Paul, he's begging the Romans. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies, present yourselves, a living sacrifice. I'm gonna pause right there. Uh-uh, don't start that. A living sacrifice. You know, we think about a sacrifice as something that you would put on the altar. But you see, we're a living sacrifice because we have the option to jump right back off of that altar. You know, most sacrifices, they're dead when they're put on the altar. We're not. We have the option to go, yes, Lord, I give myself to you. Nah, not today. Ah, not today. I present myself to you, not today. You ever thought about that? We're a living sacrifice. All right, let me go keep going. We're a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's not like he's asking too much for us. And then we might think, well, what does that even mean? This is what it means, the next verse. Do not be conformed to this world. Don't be like everybody else, but be transformed. Well, how do you do that? By the renewing of your mind. We've got to get it right, right here by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Folks, we gotta be living in the will of God. And we'll know that if our minds are right. And when we do that, when we're thinking the way God is thinking, then we are presenting ourselves to him the way he wants us to be. I hope that helps. So go present yourself. Don't worry so much about everybody else. Be wise, not afraid. See you next week.